I'm at spring water this is Willow Creek trail and I was just observing all the trees in here it's mostly pine trees I did find a few balsam far as well but mostly it's pine maybe if I go down the creek near the creek I might find some hemlock because and lock trees like to have their feet wet. And this is part of the Simcoe County forests. So I'm thinking these pines might be about 40 to 60 year old pine. These were reforested, so it's not old growth. These were reforested somewhere in the mid 1900s. This tree right here is a hemlock. So how I know that is, let's take a closer look at the leaves. So if you see the top part of the leaves are green, dark green, and the bottom is light green. And then, Hemlocks have alternate branching, unlike balsam fir, which is opposite branching. You see, these are not joined. Okay. Hemlocks do like to have their feet wet, so I can see that there's a little bit of depression here and the roots are actually out which means it might have grown on the trunk of another tree and usually you will also find hemlocks in, in uh, hemlock stands in groups. This is a pine needle so you can see that pine needles originate in groups from one point like this one and it will be usually groups of two or five this is in two i think two means it is white pine i might be wrong yeah this is a oak tree and Oak trees don't, although their uh, leaves are dry, they don't like to lose their leaves and it usually has a kind of a skeleton like structure, alternate branching for sure, like most hardwoods are. And the bark is a bit uh, fissured but this is a longish kind of uh, bark right very interesting acorns this is a spruce tree the spruce needles are not flat, these are more rounded shaped and they have a pointed end. This is another spruce tree, it's a very young one, maybe a year or two old. And uh, again, how you identify the tree is from the needles the needles are pointed and uh, they are not flat needles like that of hemlock or fir but these are uh, these have a rounded cross section and spruce needles do make wonderful tea um, very rich in vitamin C 
so I'm going to break off some and take home to make some tea okay in this uh, woods primarily of pine trees I find a lone birch tree it's a paper birch and you see you can identify a birch tree by the distinct white bark that it has and this has these uh, horizontal marks that's actually to help take in carbon dioxide and moisture and this bark has a lot of oil in it it burns the kerosene mm. just the one birch in a thick pine stand Ending up on the hike, about three kilometers today. It's just the first week of February, but uh, due to warm temperatures, the snow and ice is already melting. However, uh, in the woods, it's always a little bit more co colder than outside, and there's a lot of ice. So, I did the right thing wearing my ice cleats. I have my ice cleats on so I don't slip on the ice. It's about to get dark so it's good that I finished my hike before it got really dark. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and if you liked what you saw please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.